All right, I, uh, I got my pollster here that I'm almost done with, and uh, I'm getting, gonna mold it, wet mold it, to fit this GDB. Uh, been using this one because it's one of the biggest I've got. It gives it a nice shape, <coughs> and uh, I don't think anybody's gonna be carrying anything much bigger in this with them. Uh, and the reason I thought I'd do this is just to give you an idea of uh, how it works and what happens and what what not. Uh, what you see here is uh, it doesn't fit at all. Okay, on the inside here, you notice that's not dyed or treated or anything. That's raw because we're going to wet that and then mold it, stretch it to fit the pipe. Okay, and I will be back just one second. Alright, <clears throat> okay, I've switched things up a little bit here, so you might be able to see this. You might, I don't know how it's going to work. Uh, anyways, what i got here is got a wet sponge. I'm using distilled water so I don't cause any discoloration with the uh, water additives. So it's wet, but it's not dripping. I'm going to stick this down in here and dampen all of the inside. And this is the same if you're doing a knife sheath, a, a gun holster, a uh, any kind of wet molded item. Now you see it's coming through here. Well, maybe you can't. Yeah. See it's coming through there? We're getting it wet. But once this dries, it'll all go back to the same color that it should be. Because this has already been stained on the outside. And I don't know if you can see that there's a little bit of a shine. It's already been uh, sealed. You can't do that to the inside. Alright, so here comes the pipe that just a few minutes ago wouldn't even come close to going in. Right? Just give it a little finessing here. Pardon. Give it a little finessing. Alright, I'm having a real hard time without a tripod for this. Uh, but I'm going back and doing a little reverse finagling. I'll show you here in a second how what we get. Alright, after a little more stretching, you see we've got it in there almost completely. Now, I don't think that, that is going to be a size that most people are going to carry with them. Because that's a really, really big bolt. Something more along the size of this is more realistic which as you can see once it's dry it's going to fit in there really well or let's see I've got an old yellow bowl here that's pretty big that's at least a at least a medium size that's going to fit real nice and let's see what else I have handy here has a stub on it. Here we go. This is one of mine. An old K Woody bent. This is the reason that I went with a shorter length this time is because you can easily accommodate the bent pipe as well. Now, if you happen to get one of these, all you have to do, if it doesn't fit you the way you want it, you re-wet the inside like I did and remold it to the pipe that you want it to use. I'm going to leave it like that because that's a nice, good, multi-size, multi-fit uh, uh, dimension. Alright, anyway, so there we go. Thanks for watching. God bless.